In this video, we're gonna create this hard surface model using SubD. Let's go. Now, before we start, let me tell you that if you're new to Blender, you should be getting our free Jumpstart Hard Surface in Blender course, which in just few hours is going to give you all the foundations and basics for hard surface that you need. You're going to learn the UI, all the tools that you need, and the hard surface workflow. So go ahead and get it. The link is in the video description. Like I said, the course is free. All right, guys. So let's start with a cylinder here. And rotate it on Y axis by 90. Let's look from a top view orthographic at a loop here and slide it like this with Ctrl B. Are we going to select, let's say, um, maybe that many? I think this will do. And extrude it up, Alt A, and scale it and move it somewhere here. And then we can press F to flatten this, I mean to, to create one face and Alt R with edge constraint from machine tools those sex. If you don't have it, just use R and adjust the size of it. That's cool. Let's now duplicate this and scale it. And we're gonna rotate it here like this and on Z by 90 degrees. And we can uh, remove these. Move it somewhere here, R, hold control and rotate it by 45 degrees and now we need to rotate it here on the y-axis or z-axis uh, boom here to the bottom like this right so this one's facing kind of down extrude it we could extrude it on it's gonna be x-axis here yeah, on x here boom and we could straighten out as well so alt a and we could probably go to axis and let's see on x minimal there we go this one is a little bit confusing but uh, it's kind of useful sometimes so we straighten this out so gxx move it in here and we're going to scale this uh, up a bit and we're going to scale this one down a bit yeah and move it somewhere here cool now, now we need to combine them together so ctrl j and also let's uh, run the power save because reasons and now we need to match them so you see we have faces or edges in here it's one two three four five six seven and we have seven here so we need seven in here right one two three four five six seven i think that's seven right okay and we need seven as well here so now we should be able to bridge them so select um just remove this face here select this one select this one and press 2 bingo and then what we're going to do is we're going to simply uh, delete let's delete this one so dissolve edges cool now we have this one and we can move it uh, in this direction we're just going to grab this face and change the orientation to to face grab this one and gy and simply move it here like this gonna scale this a little bit maybe not so far something like this and we're going to split it like that and then grab these edges and alt r and kind of ease this curvature off here so it's nice and curvy right peachy that's i think that will do so now what we need to do is we need to add some loops in here right and we probably should add more loops in here as well but we're gonna have to fix the curvature if we're gonna do that so grab this loop and kind of fix the curvature here a little bit there we go and some more loops here and peachy and then we're going to secure these so grab them iPhone set and delete the faces and we're going to run a bridge here so two with machine tools same here and uh, whoa two with machine tools there you go and then we're going to select these edges right and we're going to run a bevel on them 
so control B and you want to press P and then A let's make it not so soft and control 2 and we'll see how we do it and shoot smooth we're doing pretty peachy you can see it's a really clean connection here um so now what we can do we can actually run this uh opening here we could do it from this side so let's just do it a little bit differently than it's in the uh, um in the image and i mean in the in the thumbnail so we could run it like this here i think it's gonna be fun and then of course we need to select it on the other side so i just select it here okay now we're going to insert it so we have a you know a loop delete these faces select these both loops and press 2 and then we're gonna simply run loops here in the middle and bob jungle and that's our detail okay so this will do and now we're going to create this um, kind of a cut here so let's grab just one of these and let's split it and then we're going to insert it and then we're going to run altium macro on it in fact this could be a little bit more narrow inside it and then altium macro go in select this whole loop here and simply delete it there you go and now the reason uh, why we used 32 words is because if we didn't we would have a distortion on this um, circle here it would be less round because we simply would have less geometry to hold this circular shape with this cut here in the middle okay all right cool so now uh, we're gonna create um, another shape in here like this you can hold shift and control to mark all these and uh, we're gonna do the same thing here cool and we're going to extrude it like this and we're going to scale it on x-axis a little bit and then we're going to run some loops here it's three on each and then we're going to run some circle cuts here so q and circle and let's just connect them it's not a curved surface so we don't have to be super careful here but you know if you're paranoid what you could do is just slide these a little bit down to create better of a you know shape transition there like this and then we're gonna grab these insert them and extrude them so go to occlude so you can see what you're doing e and then g alt a and we can actually insert them one more time and we could just add loops here one just turn off this path through there you go and the same thing on the other side and now we're gonna bend this and i'll show you how to do it now in order to bend this what we need to do is let's just turn off the subdivision first we need to disconnect it here so let's select this edge first all right and we're gonna press v to disconnect it and right click so now i can press l here p and selection so now we got two different parts here let's detach this one as well because when we don't do that you're gonna alter the shape of the circle you don't want to do this you know what i mean so selection there we go so this one now it's a its own element so let's just redo the lattice because lattice is actually p selection there you go lattice is actually um ran based on if in fact we can actually move the geometry uh origin to geo uh, lattice is based on uh is ran based on the shape of this um of this uh, you know the bounding box is based on the whole shape so if you remove this one it's gonna be smaller more accurate so here z axis let's go wait a minute oh that's not z axis oh fuck that's so x axis now okay fair enough so here uh, b and we can actually deform this one let's 
something like this and then we can rotate it to make it really interesting okay cool and then what we need to do is move this one back here and align it so to geo and we're gonna have to stitch it so make sure you're accurate as much as you can all right so now we're going to we're going to apply lattice some modifier and operation spine apply we're going to delete this uh, top edge we're gonna combine these two together control j and then we're gonna bridge these with two right and you're done and then the same thing in the bottom uh, we're going to delete this one vertices we're going to merge them together and we're going to bridge them with two and then we're going to run um let me just delete that and then we're going to run control two on this one so subdivision and boom now press three to remove any double verts and bob's your uncle you got your curved shape with perfect circles here and there you can even go with control three if you want uh, but there you go that looks pretty peachy so then you know rotate it and you can have some fun so let's just go to a plane and then we can just render this right so go to mats uh, let's go with i don't know it's graphite steel or whatever the hell doesn't really matter Coated titanium looks cool, it's a bit dark, so we could just make it a bit less dark, like this. And the floor could be, I don't know, um, shiny plastic, I suppose. Something like that. And then we're gonna grab a camera, to view. Let's switch it to 85, so it's gonna be a little bit of a collapsed perspective. Nice to view. Now let's just align it. G, Shift Z, move it in here. You don't need to make this plane much larger. This will do. Uh, let's just align this properly. We could even add some Dutch angle here. There you go. Whoa drop it down a bit scale it a bit and Bob Janko and uh, we can render this and there you go okay guys well that's it for this one thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one